All right, guys, today, back down here in Arizona. Today's a special video. I've been waiting for this video for a long time, actually, probably months. I've been wanting to get the new Mizuno club, and today is the day that I'm getting fit here at uh, TPC Scottsdale, the Champions Course. And we're on the range here, over here with my guy, Jeff Cook yeah. from Mizuno. Thanks for coming on the channel, of course. Yes. Obviously we have Grant and Joe that we'll be watching as well. I'm basically gonna get warmed up and then we're gonna go through the Mizuno club fitting process. We got a track man here and I believe we have some some type of like machinery to connect your club, right? We do, we have the shaft optimizer. Right here. And this is new technology, right? Yes, been around, we've had it for uh, about 15 years. Okay, so there you go, the shaft optimizer, which will get me dialed in for my new clubs, guys. I'm excited for this. Um, we're gonna warm up here and then we're gonna get into the fitting. Hopefully you guys enjoy if you do. And have been enjoying all the content leave a like on this video for the arizona content and uh yeah much more to come let's get into it i'm curious today the biggest thing like garrett obviously we think just from him hitting that the clubs rate he has right now are a little bit too flat so i'll be curious once he uses the optimizer if it tells him that he needs his clubs more upright because we like look at his divots and sometimes they're a little bit toe deep hopefully we can dial that in I've been working on a little bit of a swing change, guys. It's feeling nice. I was getting it dialed last night at the range. I'm trying to bow my wrist a little bit, tape the club a little bit more to the outside, and it's helping a lot through impact. So we'll see if uh, we can kind of continue that. Another thing that Grant and I noticed is with my current setup, my current irons, my toe is digging a little bit. So we might potentially, my clubs be a little bit more upright. We'll see. I'm excited to uh, see all this information we get. A little bit less club face rotation is what I'm kind of feeling in the swing. So kind of walking you guys through what I'm feeling right now. Sometimes in my golf swing guys, I have a tendency of doing this. Right now what I'm working on is more like that. Get the club a little bit more to the outside. Allows me to get it in the slot, get through impact a little bit better. What are you thinking, Grant? No, it, his swing looks great right now. It's gonna be good, because when you're swinging good, like that's the best time to get fit. If you're hitting it horrible, making a swing change, you don't really wanna get fit, but he's swinging great right now. All right, I think I'm warmed up enough, guys. I think now we're gonna, gonna we're gonna get into the fitting process and kind of see see all the information. I'm really curious to see what we got here, but I don't know. You realize what I'm gonna the computer's all gonna hook to this. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so this so the shaft optimizer we've got an app and really is what it is. It's getting your swing DNA. So you know how your speed, your kick, the toe droop, lag. Right and then how much release you have. Gotcha. And then it's also do a lie angle. That yeah, lie angle is gonna be one of those. So we can do all that. Yeah, all Just that. in this. Now that's insane. I'm curious to see how this get, works. It's gonna give me six data points okay. that we can look at. And then it's gonna recommend some shafts for you. But the key thing is, like you're talking about the lie angle. Right. It's gonna show you what lie angle you should have. And then we'll compare it to what you currently have. Right. And we'll see where we are. I like that. Awesome. Go ahead and hit one. All right, we're gonna hit one. A little bit heavier, obviously, just a little bit. Yeah, I only need three swings. Gotcha. Those are solid. I'll, I'll tell you what a solid swing feels like when I hit one. So I want that to be the data. If you guys are enjoying these videos with the fittings and kind of the in-depth stuff, hit that like button. Um, we're, we're both learning a ton. Super, super interesting, so. I'm really curious to see if they change his shaft as well. We know his lie angle probably will be changed, but his shaft too, you never know. Head speed was 100, your tempo was 5. Toe down. 4. Kick angle was 5. Your release factor was 4. I'm a 4 as well. You excited for the new clubs? I am. I'm pumped for the new clubs, guys. Excited to uh, kind of test them out, see how they feel. Obviously, not complaining at all with my current clubs. I just want to see and feel the new clubs, especially after seeing my toe digging. I think my lie angle needs to be slightly readjusted with my swing, which is fine. My swing has definitely changed over time. I feel like you just kind of have to adjust for that. But I mean, based off looking at these divots, as you guys can tell, the toe is digging just a little bit, which just a little bit of a toe dig goes a long way and can definitely affect your golf game in a big, big way. So basically it just means my hands are a little bit higher than they need to be through impact. They're higher than they need to be. That's just natural for Garrett. He likes, he comes in with pretty high hands and that's okay. Not everybody comes in with super low hands. So you can kind of fit the club to his swing more. What key pieces of information are we seeing here so far, though? Just uh, kind of—it's just going to give you—it's uh, going to recommend 
a bunch of different shafts that you could try. Right. You know, like if we had the fit card here, you could go through them all and try them all and all that. Your shaft's one of those that you use, but then it just lists all the all the shafts that are in the data that we gotcha. have. Gotcha. So, you know, like a dy dynamic gold X. Dynamic gold X. So those are the, here's our best options, right? Yes. All right, so basically what I'm seeing here after those three swings is there's the top three recommended shafts for me. Dynamic gold X. What's the one that I have in this one? What do I have here? You have a Nippon 105 X. Okay, and so and you said that was recommended on here or no? Yeah, it's down the list, yes. Okay, towards the bottom? Yep. Gotcha. Okay, so obviously you can tell my swing has changed just a little bit based off of three shafts that I've been recommended now versus the last time I got fitted. One of which is the KBS S Taper X, Dynamic Gold X, and the KBS Tour X. What does X mean? Does that mean it's more stiff or what? Yeah. So basically, that's more stiff than that shaft right there. Or no? Those three there recommend be a little stiffer than this, yes. Okay, gotcha. That's the first thing that I'm noticing. Is there any other key piece of information that we need to see just based off those shots? No, really it's just picking the shaft for you to hit or okay. that recommend the shaft for you and then all the rest of it is it just ties in all the data points. Right, okay. So I guess the next thing that we're trying to figure out is now lie angle, but as you guys can tell, we probably need to get a different shaft in my irons uh, for the new ones that I get. Uh, one of those top three that were recommended. Maybe the dynamic gold, I don't know. I've always been a fan of dynamic gold so maybe, maybe we could try that out who knows um obviously if we were in you know if we had the whole fit cart here we could hit all the shafts and, and test them all out but uh, i'm definitely going to go with one of those top three for my new irons so right now it's actually feeling pretty good i was warming up i was hitting a couple Ooh, bad there, shots now but... see, see now it's getting shallow yeah when it gets steep Brother, that's when we're in trouble i've been trying to dissect my swing here with grant here because okay yeah yeah oh wait this actually this will be good for the people at home actually this is this is something really cool that we noticed on the course <laughs> as well so i'm swinging natural obviously now look at these divots guys as you guys can tell what this divot tells me is the toe is digging which means the lie angle is like that a little more like that coming through impact obviously that's exaggerated if the divots look different it'd be the heel digging but obviously as you guys can tell based off this the toe is digging so basically i'm hitting grant's upright club let's just see and this should this should make my divot look more normal i guess mm -hmm. we'll see though you never know The one thing is though, the, a lot of the new technology and a lot of the new instructors will say you cannot read divots. Don't try and read your divot because they'll let the technology usually do that. I will say I didn't take a divot there so we can't really read, but it did feel, I don't know. Here we I go. will say, when I just got fit, my like tempo on the optimizer was like a four or five and Garrett's is literally a four or five. So we're really close and our set at the top actually. That divot was good though. The divot was good. It was not a great swing, but as you guys can tell, that's a lot shallower. A lot shallower. Toe's not digging as much. But a couple more, because I want to actually see what the difference is here. It is a better divot. It is a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit more shallow. I will say that. It's you, you know you grip off the end of your club. Yeah, like I know. when you're swinging. It's, okay. my, it's how I naturally feel comfortable. I actually like, when I'm gripping my clubs, my, my left hand's almost like extending off the shaft. And so when I grip Grant's shaft, my left hand is a little more down on the shaft. But uh, anyways, let's see if we can hit another good one. The toe is not digging as much. Look, yeah, it's just because shallow. it's more upright. That's Why it. do I feel like I like? I'm so used to the toe digging, my swings just changed for it. Right. It's because I can still hit my iron straight. It's just the divots look so bad. So right. I adjusted my swing for a toe dig. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens, guys. That's just that's why it is so important to get fit because you'll naturally like mess with your swing to try and fit your clubs if you buy them just off the rack. All right, last one we're gonna film here with Grant's club, and then we're gonna figure out the lie angle. I, was, I mean, divot's better. There's a little bit of a miss. Kind of shoved a little right. Still a good swing though. Yeah, I don't know. We're getting dialed. I'm excited for the new clubs, guys. I'm excited. So everything everything was standard though, based off hitting those clubs, that club. Okay. So, cause I will say your irons feel good, but they almost felt too upright when I was hitting, like good. Right. Better bit. than mine. But so basically we're starting to realize that the set that I have actually might be one degree flat. And from what I remember, I think it might actually have been one degree is. flat. I yeah. You just said that. The from when day. I got fit, I got fit in Denver forever ago. And I think it was one degree flat at the time, but the club that I was just hitting now, the one that they had this attached to, basically everything was standard. 
and based off the shots that I hit, I should have a standard lie angle for when I actually get fit and get new clubs. So obviously that was just like kind of the fitting portion of this video. Once I actually get the clubs, I might be back in Dallas when I film the rest of this video. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys like a full review of my new irons, I'm excited for it, my new wedges. All the new stuff from Mizuno is absolutely insane. It's, it's amazing, you know, all their clubs are awesome. So I'm excited for the new set. Uh, Grant, how do you like your new set? I feel like- I like them a lot. I was hitting my old JPXs really short and they fit me and now I gained a lot of yardage and everything. And I think Garrett, cause Garrett's swing looks so good right now, but the divots for some reason just are like toe deep. So we gotta figure that out for him and he'll start playing so much better. I know it, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy that. That was awesome. Let's go. All right, so here's the deal guys. Obviously after, uh, after getting club fitted for the new irons, we are here walking down a little tour truck lane. I guess that's what we're gonna call it. We were walking up to the Mizuno tour truck. We're gonna talk to Kyle about what we want on the clubs, how we want the clubs to look, if we want anything stamped on it, what kind of grips we want, and he's gonna build the clubs for us. Finally, we're getting a new set of clubs, new set of irons. I'm, I'm pumped for this, guys. I really am. It's like a, a kid on a Christmas morning type feeling. All right, guys, we're here in the Mizuno truck with Kyle. Uh, back in the chin, you may have seen him before. He did some woods for me. Did he do wedges or just woods? No, just woods. Just woods. So we're gonna get these things dialed in. One thing that I did kind of to talk to Grant about though, Kyle. It's like blades are definitely good for me, but once you get to like four, five, and six, I feel like blades are not. Can I do a combination set or no? Is mm -hmm. that a possibility? I did the two two ones, mm -hmm. and then when I got up to the six iron, I switched over to the two two three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah, that's it's a good combo and it's more forgiving. Yeah. Why I, would you hit blades like a four iron? Blade? I don't want to hit a four iron no. blade. I feel like I'm just gonna chunk it 90% of the time. So I think that's what we'll probably do. But let's get it dialed in, guys. A lot of this is gonna be B-roll, obviously, of him building clubs and whatnot. So yeah, I've not seen this from Mizuno. But this like it's like a mix between a hybrid and a really it's just like a thick driving iron. I might try and throw this in the bag, try and switch it up. Do a driving iron instead of the hybrid. We'll see. This thing looks clean though. I wanna test this thing out. This is sick. Guys, we're going with the Dynamic Gold X100 Tour Issue shaft right here. For the iron, switching it up, guys. A little stiffer, stiffer shaft than my current shaft. Uh, as you can tell, I am doing a combination. So I'm doing blades, the 222s, the new Mizunos, and then I'm going for my four, five, and six, a combo like Grant's doing, the 223s, because that makes it a lot easier to hit the long irons. Hitting a bladed four iron is a huge challenge and not really necessary. So I'm excited for this. Big things coming, it's gonna be good. He'll start hitting those irons. He'll start hitting his forearm gray because they're so forgiving. We're actually getting to stamp the irons. I'm putting GG, obviously, in honor of good good on all my irons. This is exciting stuff. Good colors on the irons. That is clean. Good, good, baby. Unreal. All right, so I hope you guys have been enjoying this iron video. Obviously, a little in-depth view of the irons. You know, obviously you got the GG, the Mizuno. I, I gotta say, like, the whole blade and, and kind of like mixed between cavity back combo that I have going has been a really good change for me because I feel more confident over the four iron, the five iron, and the six iron considering I'm not looking down at a blade when I don't have that much loft in the club face. Like you go back to the old days obviously, back when they had to use to hit like the bladed one iron, the butter knife, like that's hard to do and thankfully I've changed that up and just in general, I've really been enjoying these irons. So shout out to Mizuno once again, like they're solid. Like I'm not even kidding, this is the best set of irons I've ever had in my life. And obviously custom fit for me, which helps, but. How's the shaft feel compared to the old ones? Oh yeah, that was the other thing. Cause this, this shaft is a little bit stiffer and it launches the ball a little bit lower with a little less spin, which is huge for me. Cause I'm able to control it a lot more. Going into the wind, I'm able to control the spin and it, it has made a huge difference. So once again, shout out to the team at Mizuno Zuno for, for fitting me literally perfect and getting these dialed in. Hopefully we can uh, continue to improve the golf game. 